Hey, good day, YouTube. It is uh, Sunday, April, hmm, must be about 24th today, 2017. It's uh, raining again today. We have had more rain this year, I can't believe it. Today, we are just fiddling around, because we can't do much outside, with this uh, old John Deere SX95. And it has a motor cover on the backside that you know, obviously covers the engine and it's a plastic type material it's very flexible and I was wanting to repaint it because the original finish on it is uh, mostly coming off it's kind of rough I mean it, it's got some scratches and some stuff in it and I go what should I paint this with it something that might stay and I thought about this flex seal stuff and I had a can and uh, I thought well let's just give it a try and bring you guys along and see how it works if I just put flex seal on this plastic motor cover and this remains flexible, you'll be out in the weather a little bit. Um, I just need it to look better. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to look better. Um, they say on TV this stuff works pretty good. So um, this nozzle I don't think sprays the best. So um, it's not a brand new can by any means. Again, it's been sitting on my shelf. I don't know how long I've had it, but let's give it a shot. We're just going to paint this thing and so we'll just see how it turns out. Shake it up real good and uh, see if I can make it spray decent with the half clogged up nozzle. Hmm, I guess it's spraying okay. A textured finish wouldn't be bad. That'll hide all the uh, flaws. Hmm. Look at that. Spraying it on the hood of my Gilson tractor. I don't want to keep garbage on it here. Hopefully, I got enough paper down to keep it from dribbling on my hood. Well, so far, so good, folks. Kind of a bed liner look, you know, kind of rough and tough. And... Wow. Maybe it settles down just a little bit. That'd be cool. Uh, flex steel liquid rubber sealant coating there you go as seen on TV these are like 12 bucks a can something like that roof leaks, gutter, skylight, hoses window sills PVC pipes RVs camper, so much more stuff leaks fast 14 ounce can. Okay, well, I'm going to pop you off a stand and uh, let's go check this out. Close up view. Sorry I don't have the uh, best lighting when we're out here in the solar shed. Yep. Got the door open, so we got a little natural light. I know let the fumes out. But look at that. So there was a little hole right there and it's still there. Didn't plug the hole. I didn't try. Look at that. That's a very uh, desirable finish for the back of this mower. Look at that. Well, you know, maybe I'm glad we videoed this. This is, uh, that turned out just fine. That was all I was hoping for. We'll just let it sit here and dry quietly and we'll uh, put it back on the mower. This is a, uh, I've got another video so you could check it out if you want to see a little bit more about this little John Deere I picked up at a yard sale, kind of, well, I'll tell you on the other video how I have obtained it for 20 bucks. Um, I'm just kind of touching up the motor there and kind of painted the muffler and uh, it didn't have an air box. I bought one on eBay, got the air box, even had an air filter in it, even though I ordered a new air filter. We're going to change oil on it today and 
stuff but that the uh, motor cover goes on these hinges here and then covers the motor right now there's no body on it i've ordered a body used on ebay it's coming be here next week there'll be more videos on this to come might uh, grind on some of the rust surface rust there and where somebody uh, sprayed the yellow paint and we'll put some green on it so uh rubber parts plastic parts fiberglass parts paint it with flex seal yeah why not i like it okay that's it please uh like and uh, subscribe to my page. I'd appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next one.